Hello comrades, this is General Luigi, and welcome to Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. I don't know why I'm so chipper right now, considering that I woke up with a sore throat and have a bit of a runny nose. <laughs> ah, well. I just feel really good today, I don't know why, and I'm probably better off not questioning it. So the male toad has moved over here, which is convenient. Considering that our destination is in this direction. We are heading over to... Well, hang on. First, we're going to grab an extra life that's lying around here. What if we've got cabinets serving as the support for this structure? And those are huge forks and spoons. I mean, I know Rosalina's a tall lady, but... That's... That's pretty big. Even for her. So yes, this is the kitchen. And sorry, Polari, but we are not going to, to be taking a look at that base just yet. Alright, so let's head over to the Beach Bowl Galaxy. Okay. All right, I'm just checking the time. <coughs> If I can get things done quickly enough, we might be able to fit five stars into this episode, which will be a first. So this mission has two phases to it. And yeah, this is pretty much a water level. It does have elements that are out of the water. But a good chunk of it does involve swimming. And I know for a lot of people, water levels are the bane of their existence, but I really like water levels, at least when they're done right. And Super Luigi Galaxy and its in-game counterpart, Super Mario Galaxy, they just do water levels really well, in my opinion. And one thing I neglected to point out about the differences between Luigi and Mario is that when you're swimming you can use the star spin to, to get a special boost. The thing is when you when you do this as Luigi it consumes air. As Mario it doesn't. So I'm going to be relying on conventional swimming methods. <laughs> okay, for what it's worth, underwater controls do have their Flaws. Oh yes, aren't you scary? <coughs> Sorry about a little throat clear there. As I said, I did wake up with a sore throat, so might be getting sick. Depending on how I'm feeling. Hang on, Friday we might have some time off from recording. I personally hope that won't be the case. It is kind of annoying to, to try and swim when the camera is not behind you, though. That is annoying. Alright. Second phase is really simple. I don't think I have to explain a thing here. Uh, really nice melody. And it's in three. <laughs> Sorry, I just feel like I have to point that out. A lot of really good songs are in three. Heck, my home country's national anthem is in three. All right. Normally, you'd have to just run across those planks in order to get to, to that one up. But since we're Luigi, we can just hummer salt up there. And now we'll be relying on our wall jumping abilities to get to the crystal. And these are timed, as you can see from the flashing. All right. So, that's the first mission. <laughs> I think we'll be getting through this galaxy really quickly. Up. <sighs> One moment. Uh, Jerry wants in, so I will be back in a moment. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh yes, the library. 
We'll be going through that in a bonus episode. And don't worry, unlike the Pikmin bonus episode, this one will be taken care of really quickly. So you don't have to worry about... How... T it taking... What, a week for me to finally bother to upload it? Okay. So. Anyway... Next mission, really easy. In fact, I think a lot of the missions on the Beach Bowl Galaxy are just really easy. There is one that can be kind of risky, possibly two, but for the most part, this level is really simple. Well, I keep distinguishing between easy and simple, and then I just failed to do so. But yeah, it's also pretty simple. Except for one mission. Uh, didn't come here to do that, but technically I will. Since I do have to complete the test. Yeah, guess which shell we have to get! There is only one shell available in this mission, and it's a gold shell. Uh, just look for the group of penguins. One of them will be holding the gold shell. <laughs> so that's your lesson, comrades. In order to to do well in school, you have to cheat. <laughs> in all seriousness, I discourage cheating. It's just... <sighs> Words can't describe how... ill I think of cheating. Be it in a competition or in school. No, I am not. <sighs> but yeah, in order to get the star, you do have to cheat. Well, cheat on the test, not cheat in the game. That really is the only way to get the star, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Next mission. This one has a hidden star in it, so we'll be tackling that first. <clears throat> and the game's pretty good about ensuring that there, there's only one time you can actually get a hidden star. Although, one thing I forgot to check was if the gold shell could be used to access the hidden star. You need a Koopa shell in order to get to this star. And this is the only mission in which you can actually use a shell. Hey, just what I needed! Eh, I won't steal it. There's a shell right here. <laughs> Love how I say that right after I was clearly implying that I was go going to steal it. <laughs> All right. There's something I neglected to show off about swimming with a Koopa shell. I'll have to demonstrate that how when we go after the proper star. Proper star. Okay. Uh, these cliffs always bugged me. It's just so easy to overshoot your jump and end up falling off. Alright, so... This part. This part can be kind of annoying. Remember this guy from Super Mario Sunshine? Yeah, you have to lure him over to... <sighs> and Luigi's superior running... Ow! <laughs> Thankfully, he respawns. You have to lure him over to... To this shadow right here. I think Jerry's gonna hop up on me. That'll activate the appearance of this power-up, which turns you into Ice Luigi! And <laughs> this power-up always made me think of a friend of mine from a forum I used to frequent. The forum's now dead, but... 
Uh, <sighs> Jerry, please curl up or or get up. Jerry changed his mind. So what was I talking about? Right. This friend of mine from another forum I used to frequent. The place is dead now. The user went by Home Run back when I knew him. And he made this sprite comic. I believe it was the Legend of Ice Mario. Anyway, he made... I don't think I'm going to have enough time to create this bridge. Yeah. That doesn't hurt me? Wow. <laughs> Can I please get a long jump? I seem to remember having this problem when I was practicing the Cosmic Luigi Lair. Luigi Lace. Luigi Lace. Wow. That is a really stupid cataplack. Just walked right off the edge, despite there being no reason for him to do so. Alright. I don't want to jinx it, but I think I've got it this time. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Alright. So, anyway, Home Run made this sprite comic called The Legend of Ice Mario, I believe. Basically just a recolor. It featured what was basically a recolor of Mario's Superstar Saga sprite. Anyway. Hey. That comic was actually made before Super Mario Galaxy came out, so when I first learned about the power-up and the new form that Mario took, my response was, Nintendo's ripping off Home Run Sprite comic! <laughs> but no, I don't think they were doing that. <laughs> Probably just a coincidence. In fact, I would be amazed if Nintendo actually did come up with the idea by reading that Sprite comic. <laughs> All right, so anyway, here we are in the uh, at the real mission. Well, the, I don't know what to call it. The non-hidden mission. And something I forgot to show off. You get a little aiming sight of sorts, and also brake lights when you hold down Z to slow down. <laughs> uh, if you weren't sti if you weren't floating. If you weren't treading water right there, I would have broken the rock. You're the one who wants it broken, right? Well, get out of the way. <sighs> Sound like an angry driver. I live really close to a major highway, so... <laughs> I get to deal with angry drivers sometimes. I've been given a one-fingered salute on more than one occasion. <clears throat> and all of a sudden I've run out of stuff to talk about. Uh, nice to see Jerry didn't go up to where Fox was resting and bug her. Okay, I wasn't trying to kill those swoopers, but all right. All right, and here we're introduced to a new enemy. The Tox Box. You might remember them from Super Mario 64. So, crushing damage unless you're inside the box. And don't get too close to the edge when you're or on the area that has the safe spot because if you're on the edge, you'll still get crushed. That's one of the downsides to, to this game being in three dimensions instead of two. Oh, ow! Oh, whoa, whoa, what? What? Oh, blast it! Good thing I grabbed that one up. Alright, and since those two won't count now that I've grabbed them, I'll just go about the conventional way. Uh, thank you. <sighs> that was annoying. Looked like I might make it, but nope. 
other platforms would interfere. So I don't think I have to explain what we have to do here. Just basically get to the star. And since it's a good opportunity, I'll go ahead and do the Prankster Comet mission here as well. Might mean the video will be a bit longer than normal, but eh, not the end of the world. Uh, let's wait for that Tox box to pass. There we go. Now watch me get crushed. Uh, I wasn't trying to do that. There we go. Alright. And now it's just a simple matter of getting to the star. Well, since when was not was it not a simple matter of getting to the star? Considering that we had a few interruptions, I think there is going to be time to to get a fifth star. Assuming that the star I am referring to is going to appear. Yeah, in case you haven't figured it out, it's the one involving the prankster comet. Is it there? Blast it. Okay, well, I still feel like grabbing another star, so... Hang on, I'm gonna see if that Hungry Luma will take what, what I have. Uh, how many star bits do you want, comrade? Six hundred. Perfect. So let's just feed this guy. One of the cats I live with is curled up near my, my spot. Fox, I believe I've mentioned her before. Ah, uh, the Drip Drop Galaxy. Uh, what did this one feature again? Yeah, I didn't do this in the practice file, so... <laughs> Doing this sort of blind. I have done this plenty of times. Oh, right. Alright, so this could lead to me going over the... He intended time limit. Floating islands. Those actually do exist in the real world. I think there are some in Lake Titicaca. On the, I want to say on the border between Peru and Bolivia, but I'm not certain. Okay, so... The mission here... Just kill the giant eels. I think they're called Gringills. If they're not, I'll show the real name. Okay, right, so and also watch out for torpedo teds. They will track you and try to take you out when you're swimming. Basically underwater bullet bills. Alright. Get a good beat on this guy. Gotcha! And I just love the shell. Ow! <laughs> I love the controls for using a shell underwater. It just feels... well... Sort of like the controls for your typical aircraft in any game. So, kind of reminiscent of Star Fox. Alright. Yes, I don't think I'm close enough to have a good shot. Then there was a, that moment I was too close. Uh, camera, could we please give me... Thank you. Uh, F! <laughs> okay. What? There were... Oh, right. Because the one I smacked into still got hurt by the shell. Okay, and ever so conveniently, we were right next to the star. So, yeah, I was hoping to do the Prankster Comet mission on the Beach Bowl Galaxy, but... 
it did feel like showing up. So we will just end the episode here. I will see you next time.